this program, we're going to learn about erosion. What is erosion? Erosion is when rocks and sediments are picked up and moved to another place by ice, water, wind, or gravity. Erosion is caused by flowing water, waves, glaciers, and the wind. Waves crashing on the shore erode beaches. They grab sand and carry it along the direction of the current. Whole beaches are carried away by erosion. Glaciers also cause erosion. A glacier is like a slow-moving river of ice that flows downhill. Mountain ranges contain deep valleys that have been carved out by glaciers. The rocks dragged along underneath it gouge deep into the ground, creating U-shaped valleys with steep sides and flat bottoms. Wind causes erosion. Sand blown by strong winds has sculpted the slender sandstone pillars of Bryce Canyon in Utah. Wind erosion is common in deserts, where sand is blown about because there are few plants to hold the soil in place with their roots. The Grand Canyon is also a great example of a massive canyon carved by erosion caused by the flow of the Colorado River over millions of years. Erosion in one area can actually build up lower areas. As the mountain erodes, the river carries the sediment towards the ocean. The sediment slowly builds up and creates new land at the mouth of the river. The swamps of Louisiana are a good example of sediment carried by the Mississippi River and collected at the end of it. Erosion can't happen without weathering. Weathering is the process by which rock is broken down into smaller and smaller pieces by the wind and water. There are three types of weathering, mechanical, chemical, and organic. Mechanical weathering physically breaks up rocks. Chemical weathering decomposes or decays the rock. And finally, organic weathering is when plants break up rocks with their growing roots. Once weathering has done its job of breaking the rocks apart into smaller and smaller pieces called sediment, that's when erosion steps in and carries away those pieces to a new location.